Hey, how's it going, Doug? Kelsey here at Mixed Digital Marketing. Just want to leave you a quick video in terms of some SEO strategies we recommend you do into your website to help it rank higher in Google. So we'll go over three things. The first is content, second is backlinks, third is citations. So content just refers to words on the page. And so although your design here, it looks clean, and neat, and I know you're going for that black, white context, um, that all looks really good, but Google's algorithm can only truly determine what your website does based on the words on the page. And so with that, we recommend 1,000 to 1,500 words on the home page, and then around 500 to 750 words on each additional page, depending on what it is. And so here, as you can see, as we go through your website, there is a fair amount of content. It looks good, but I think there's a little bit more content we can add here, and especially adding in the right keywords and, and terms that get searched most often in Google. And so you may be wondering, okay, well, what are those keywords? How do I know what to add? So we use a program called all reps. And so here we're able to type in any website on the web, and then it gives us back some feedback in terms of kind of the power ratings and rankings that um, the website is bringing, as well as some keywords are ranking for, etc. So here I typed in your, your website, Austin Natural Painting. And as you can see, it has a rank in the millions, which is totally fine. We're talking about billions of websites on the web. What we really care about is everything to the right here, which I'll go over here. So UR is the URL rating, and that is a determination of both the internal SEO as well as offsite SEO for the home page that we're on. And so 23, and this is out of 100, so the 23 is pretty good. But as you can see here, the DR rating is much lower. So DR stands for domain rating, and that uh, measures the power of just the backlinks, the offsite SEO. So you can see here that you know, backlinks show over... 10,000, but what we really care about are referring domains. So these are the amount of websites that have a backlink referring back to your site. So backlinks, just to take a step back, are um, influencer pages or just any, any sort of page that has that URL hyper extension that when you click on it, it leads back to your site. And so what we care about are the amount of websites that have that because it, they can you can have a hundred on one website, but you only get power once. And so we care about um, just getting as many websites as possible and making sure that those websites are powerful. Because typically, when I see a number of 63, I expect a much higher number here. So this just tells me that the the domains that um, that you're getting backlinks from are fairly weak as well. Um, and so we want to find you stronger ones. And here we care about even further. We care about do follow backlinks, not and not just the referring domains as a whole. You can see that you have 54, 63, which is really good, but again, those 54 are very weak. And so we want to make sure that we're finding you do follow backlinks that are from strong websites that are going to build your rating, and then you'll see your site ranking up higher and higher. And then you can see here you start to rank for more organic keywords, you and then. Um, the software has an algorithm that kind of de determines organic traffic, traffic value. So you can see that here you're paying for that value right now. So we want to help come in and help your website rank higher and just get you some more organic searches. And so I typed in Painters Austin TX. And so this search gets 250 searches per month according to the software I was just on. There's a bunch of other searches regarding to painting homes and whatnot that and there's significant volume here, but I just typed in the highest one, which is 250. And so here you can see the Google ad section with the pay-per-click, which you know all about. Um, and then people are paying a premium to be on this top section, but really on average, it gets about 20% of the searches. So that leaves 80% for the rest of the field. So 40% typically comes from the map pack section here, the Google My Business that you have set up. And so this is driven primarily from the organic rating, which is down here. And then second is citations. So citations are online directories like Yelp or even your Facebook page or anything that has your business name, phone number, and address exactly as you set it, have it set up in Google My Business. And it's very important that they match exactly because you won't get proper credit. And so we have a different software that we use that allows us to see these top performers in the map pack, how many citations they have, and we make sure we at least get double. Because citations are really easy to get. It's just a little bit time consuming. And so we want to make sure we get you as many as possible to make sure you are meeting that criteria of citations very well. So here we'll go through organic search. So the key is to appear on the top 10. And so you get 40% for being in this top 10 section or the first page of the ranking. So I went to the top competitor here, which is Austin Paint Pro. And Austin Paint Pro, as you can see, their website is pretty vanilla. I mean, there's nothing special about it. Um, but they have done, a, they have a, a fair amount of content here. You see this keyword, uh, Painters Austin TX, which is the big um, keyword here. They have it thrown in their content and they have good offsite SEO. And so as you can see here, I typed in their website. 
they have a higher UR rating as well as a higher DR rating, which is a big kicker on why they're ranking higher. You can see here that they even have less referring domains, but those referring domains that they have are bringing, um, are giving them a higher rating, and thus why they're getting uh, a lot more traffic value out of out of their searches that they're ranking for. And so I know you also mentioned uh, that one painter. So they're actually they're at number 15. You're at you're you're lower than them, which is okay. But I just want I know you mentioned them, so I wanted to show you real quick um, some of the ratings of their website. As you can see. Um, your website looks neater than theirs. They have probably around the same amount of content. They have a lot more pictures um, that are clickable, um, which I mean doesn't really play too big of a factor. It depends on if they optimize them correctly on SEO. So I went to their site and actually their ratings are pretty poor. Um, and so it could just be a thing with Google showing them higher right now than you. Um, it could be recency bias based on the domain, the backlinks that they're getting um, recently. So, but again, they don't have nearly any at all, and they have a zero domain rating. So this, their website will be an easy one to get up and above fairly quickly. And so these are some quick SEO strategies I recommend you doing to your website. If you want to learn more about what we can do, please visit www.mixeddigitalmarketing.com. Thank you.